Hi, I'm Dindin Moreno of Parroquia and Edgar, and I'm here to review the top-of-the-line Nissan X-Trail 4x4 for autobuyers.ph. Come! This is the top of the line model of this series and the other one is a 2.0 4x2. The difference between this and the 2-liter two, two X-Trail is that this has more safety features. This particular model comes with Nissan Intelligent Mobility. Like it can detect oncoming cross traffic so that when there's a car that's going to cross, it, an alarm will sound so that, will tell, that will tell you how to brake. And it also has a blind spot detector which you could see here and there is also a emergency brake that if you get too close to a car in front it will automatically stop but that I'm not going to test it it also has a 360 degree camera so that you could maneuver your car in tight spaces aside from the safety features this is a 4x4 so you could with with the 4x4 system on this Nissan you could change it on the fly with the turn of a knob like this there yeah. what I like about this car is that it doesn't have that much of a high clearance from the road so while still maintaining a commanding view you still get that feeling that it is a car just like the previous generation X trails this car is very easy to drive it doesn't feel like you're driving an SUV or a big car at that it feels like you're just driving an ordinary sedan. The difference between this and the previous generation X-Trail is that this one is a 7-seater. Though, you cannot fit big guys like me at the back. You can only fit children or very thin people. This being the top-of-the-line model means that it comes with different luxury features like leather steering wheel, leather seats, and one thing that my kids really like is the moonroof. Another thing I liked about this X-Trail is that you could configure the seats at the back to fold flat so that you could put in big boxes, you could put in luggage, um, sports equipment, golf bags, and whatever you think of putting at the back. Another thing that I like about Nissan is that you can be assured that the air conditioning is very cold. Just like my old X-Trail, I never had a problem with its air conditioning. Another thing I liked about this X-Trail is the interior. Its dashboard has a modern design and is ergonomically correct and everything is within reach. Even though this X-Trail can seat 7 people, it has 10 cup holders. And special mention goes to the cup holders here in front in the middle which has aircon vents to cool your drinks. Now, on to things I don't like about this car. First is the parking brake. You, you activate it by stepping on a pedal. If you're coming from a manual car, it is very easy to confuse it as a clutch. I would have preferred an e-brake or a handbrake better. Even though this is a seven-seater car, the only people who can sit comfortably at the back are children and very small adults. Overall, I could say that I had fun driving this car in the few days it was with me. Even my kids had fun too. So if you're looking for a car that's perfect for your family, the X-Trail safety features and versatile interior make it a strong contender for your shortlist. Thank you for watching. I hope you found this quick review of the X-Trail very helpful. Like us on Facebook, follow us on Instagram, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. This has been Dindin Moreno of Parokini Edgar for Auto Buyers Philippines. Till the next review! Oh, 
And please don't forget to leave your comments in the comment section below. If you want me to review a car, especially with the letters B, M, W, please write it down. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>